Hey guys, it's Beta here, and today I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to create these kind of buttons where this is the default one, the one where you highlight over, then one where you click on, which, yeah, that one. Oh well. Alright, so go to create a new canvas in Photoshop and I'm just, just going to make mine 1280 by 720 for the video resolution 200 and okay alright so first off we're going to start with making the kind of texturized background so unlock this layer by double clicking on the lock just name it whatever name it background for mine and then I'm gonna get a nice dark blue you can get any color you want any you no know, light color doesn't matter and that looks about good I'm just gonna fill it and then I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna press D on my keyboard to make this default and just color it in black then go to filter noise add noise then you could change the amount to whatever but I'm just gonna keep mine around 20s a little lower than 20 actually but it's gonna depend on how big your canvas is so I will put it at 19 that looks good Okay, then zoom in 100% and change the blend mode to overlay. So now you kind of got this texturized background. Then just change the opacity down. I like mine around about 15 to 20. I mean, you might not be able to tell, but it does kind of settle things so then now go to file new and create a 10 by 10 pixel canvas resolution like i'll keep it at 200 then just zoom in and make the brush and then get the brush tool Ugh. and make it one one pixel and hardness well hardness one well 100 uh, all right then create a new layer and just take off the background turn them off then now if you don't have the rulers you could go ahead and press ctrl r so these will come up then just click on the side of the ruler and drag and it will auto lock to the center so just yeah auto lock put it in the center and there we go and now we are just gonna go from up here hold shift and go straight down go up and down for until the thing's fully black then can add to do it again there we go and do it same for this side so you kind of get this cross now. I mean, you can use the rectangle tool, but I just chose not to for this tutorial. So now you're gonna want to go to Edit, Define Pattern, and I'm just gonna leave this as Pattern Two. And go back to your main canvas, double click on the background, not the actual texture, then go to pattern overlay <clears throat> then just find your pattern which is mine's right here and then you want to scale it down to where it doesn't get all blurry just well yeah okay about 33 is good then we are gonna change Capacity drastically to about 12 
So now you have more of a low texture. Then go ahead and get the color overlay. Put it to black. So just darken the background to how you like. Put it right there. It's about good. Alright, so now we get into the actual buttons. Let's see. So just go grab your uh, rounded rectangle tool and put it at the radius at 10 pixels. The fill black and just drag out your button. You might have to change the radius to your liking to whatever the um, what's it called? To whatever the canvas size is. Size is. Alright, so now we're just gonna right click on this and asterize layer. Then double click. Bring up your layer style settings. And now we're gonna first do bevel and emboss. I'm gonna change this to chisel hard. Change it, change the style to low emboss. Then, you know, you can change the depth. I'm gonna leave, put it at about 72. Bring down the size a little bit. Actually, no. Leave the depth at 100. Oops. Then go to gradient overlay and just kind of make the colors like the background so yeah so what I'm gonna do is just gonna bring this up click on the background and kind of make it just a little little lighter then take this change the color then make this lighter than the top the bottom I mean alright let's change actually now that looks good alright so now good to color overlay now we're gonna just change this to black and darken it. I like to do color overlay a lot to darken things because it's just great and you can change it without doing control Z and stuff. So that looks about good. We got to stroke. Then we are gonna want to do inside stroke. Then go to fill type, change the color to gradient and change this to reflected then also put the gradient on reverse and we could change the angle to 90 or whatever angle you pretty much want and I will change the size down to 2 but change it to your liking <clears throat> then from here we're going to want to go to uh, outer glow Change the blend mode to normal, the color to black, and just bring the opacity up for now to 100. And bring up the spread. Alright, so put the size about. Mm, this size should be about 8 and spread about 13. But like I said, it's all according to your canvas. So, and now change the opacity down probably a lot because we all we really want to do is just darken it just a little bit. And let's check. The okay, so it looks like everything's good for this. Press OK, and now we kind of got our button layers. So duplicate this layer by can by pressing a control J on the keyboard or command J if you're using a Mac I believe. 
and just grab your uh, grab tool, click it, hold shift, and just drag directly down or drag to where you want. And actually, I'm gonna delete that and go into the bevel and boss and change the highlight color because it's way too white for my life. So just change the opacity down a little bit. Alright, so putting that about 40%. Looks better. So now control J and just bring down. Then control J again and bring it down. So, for this last one, this last one is just a little different, so double click on it. Oops, don't want to change that. Double click on it, bring up the layer styles, and just go to inner glow. Change the, change the blend mode to normal, color to black. Then you're going to want to bring up the size and choke a little bit so it's like that and change the opacity all the way down this isn't quite black there we go then we're gonna want to do a um, drop shadow it's, uh, inner shadow and bring the distance up quite a bit and the size up so distance about 15, size about 35. Then now we're just gonna change the opacity just a little bit. And there we go. So for this one, you're gonna want this one to light up because your mouse is gonna roll over it. Because this is kind of using a design, an interface design. So just go to your color overlay and bring this down to about 28 looks good then now just create your text for it so I'm gonna use edit designs and make sure this is white there we go check Put it to where you want. Now change the blend mode to overlay. And also before we do that, we're just gonna make a little change. Not so much noticeable, but kind of. Uh, bring up the layer styles for the text and go to inner glow. Change the blend mode to normal and color to black. Then you're gonna want to bring the size down to about one or two. You take it up to two, and bring the opacity to about 40. 42 looks good. Okay, there we go. Now duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J and drag down to your next button and Ctrl J again to duplicate it then there's the light up for that one nice and easy then duplicate it again and bring it down here to your third button and just uh, duplicate it three more times or two more times so now it shows it as light up so that's kind of how you make this kind of you know unique button themes you could do it for design and interface. I would like to see some of your guys' work if you use this or not. Doesn't really matter. But yeah, hopefully you like this and helps you out. And you could do a lot of cool things using the techniques I use. So subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.